everybody. My name is Megan Keene, and I am Principal Product Marketing Manager for Pro Video here at Adobe. Um, and I'd love you to join me in welcoming our panelists, Valentina V, John Brandon Cruz, and Kyle Hamrick. Hello. <laughs> Valentina, can you give a brief description of, of the challenge that, you, that we, Adobe and Frame.io, brought to you? have four people work on the same thing, have it be a professional piece of work that looks like an actual movie, and use like every type of tool available in the Adobe Toolkit, including Filmic Pro, Camera to Cloud, like everything possible Adobe branded. And so, uh, Valentina, as you started conceiving of what you were going to do, what were some of the, the main considerations and how you sort of developed how all... Three of you, and then plus Ryan Connolly was also a fourth filmmaker on this project, uh, how you were all going to work together. Well, for me, it was like, what are our strengths or what are the things that we are really comfortable in? And also, how do I show off camera to cloud? So for me, it was all about the match cuts. I don't know if you noticed, but in a lot of this, it starts off in the restaurant. There's a match cut, like exactly like the framing or the movement. So it was all about how to make it all seamless. So hopefully it looks like it was made with one team instead of like four completely remote teams. Absolutely. And so how did camera to cloud enable you all to sort of work in that almost consecutive, if not on top of each other way? It was so helpful to get that footage early on, you know, because a lot of times as a VFX artist, you're, you're the afterthought, like you're the last person to see the footage. Yeah. And so for me to get it up front and to be able to interact with them about like what might need to change, it was the most seamless collaborative experience I've had making a video as a yep. VFX artist. Kyle took like photos of our production design. Like when we were making the boxes, when, yeah. my, when my production designer was like, got some boxes from Amazon, like aged them up and like hammered them, right? Sent a photo to Kyle and he was like, okay, I'll take this and I'll make and something. You probably can't see it, but the design, the carving and the design of the top of the box is what makes up the background of that title card. But that that's a good thing to springboard off of because like, it was so easy to just work together on stuff. Like, um, you know, some of their shots were uploaded and Cruz started like doing the first VFX tests. Um, and he, you know, like here's one that's like way, way big. Here's one that's really subtle, one in, in between. And I saw those like, cool, those little pink particles, like those are gonna go yeah. on the title card now. And like, we're kind of like finding the color theme that's gonna work through the effects and just like working, you know, kind of bouncing everything back and forth as it develops. Yeah, I love that moment, actually. That was probably one of my favorite moments of the project was when he saw one of my very early first drafts. And he was like, I'm going to run that treatment through all of the text and the logo design and the title cards. And that was so cool because a lot of times it's like he wouldn't get to work on those things until I was long done with the right. VFX. So we were then we started having a conversation about how to make the two work together so it felt cohesive. It's interesting because, uh, you know, oftentimes we get so into like the mindset of tech that we're like efficiencies and how are we making things faster and how are we, but it, it sounds like it wasn't just that. It was also like increasing the creative storytelling yeah. collaboration and being able to like mm -hmm. actually bounce things around before you get to a final that you are too far gone on or yeah, that's awesome. What pieces of this workflow do you feel like you are going to carry on to your next <laughs> project? Before this, I'll be honest, I thought that the camera to cloud workflow was much harder than it is. And it was easy. You just connect it to the SDI, you connect it through an app to your account, and then that's it. And all the files just upload. I was like, oh, I guess I don't have to be scared of this anymore. It's easy. My hope and what I'd like to make the standard for all my videos is that Everybody contributing ideas to a video should be in frame. Frame is at the cutting edge of the notes giving process and it's such a vital part of making videos or making films. Everyone working in different media programs and everyone's giving notes in different places and there's Gmail notes and yeah. Dropbox and WeTrans, you know, it's just like get it all in one place. And, and that's my hope for my projects moving forward. So for anyone here or watching that's thinking about this kind of undertaking, what would be your piece of advice? It is easy, that it is not intimidating, but I would still like do a quick test. All of us did a quick test right before going into it just so that we knew how it worked. I love how this tool that is so helpful for creativity 
that it's so much more accessible now that you have it as part of Creative Cloud. Like it's right there and there's no excuse not to use it. All right. Well, thank yeah. you guys so thank much you. for thank joining you. us. Thank you everybody for being here. Yeah, let's give a big round of applause.